What's going on guys? Thomas from My Sense CI stopping in today. Uh, we'll be doing a discussion on a sample that I just picked up from my local dealers. And that fragrance is from the house of Ralph Lauren. Uh, that fragrance is Polo 67. So if you're interested in this discussion, stay tuned. We're going to dive right into it after this intro. <music> Welcome back guys for those that are returning i appreciate you for my new subscribers welcome to the channel on my channel we discuss all things fragrance whether that be fragrances from your online discounters or fragrances from your local rack room stores your local rack room stores are burlington marshall's tj max or ross because believe it or not guys you can find great quality fragrances at a good price at these locations now guys to today video will be a short discussion on a, a sample that i picked up from my local dealers and that fragrance is ralph lauren from the house of ralph lauren uh polo now when i put my nose on this fragrance guys it didn't smell like your typical polo to me this one it sets itself apart from the polo uh scent profile But it's a pleasant blue fragrance. Uh, the the notes in this fragrance is 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 a common notes, but the scent profile on this one, guys, is it's it's really nice. Uh, so I think Polo went a different route with this one. Uh, the top notes on this fragrance is lemon, pineapple, bergamot. The middle notes are sage, juniper, rose hip, and the base notes are goldenrod, vetiver, and patchouli. So, the pineapple in this fragrance uh, is smooth. You can pick it up in the opening. It gives it this sweet, this is a sweet, woody, fruity type of fragrance. Uh, the main accords listed with this fragrance is aromatic, citrus, woody, fruity, earthy, fresh, spicy, sweet, patchouli, fresh, and herbal. So now what I experienced with this fragrance, uh, It changed from the opening. So I guess with this fragrance, you, you, you're gonna get that, that sweet citrus in the opening. And then the herbalness that comes in with the sage, the juniper, uh, rose hip. Rose hip is a new note in the fragrance, uh, or a new experience. So, and also the golden rod. I don't have anything with golden rod in it. And then once it reached the base notes, that's what a patchouli, the vetiver, and this goldenrod. Because I looked up golden. Goldenrod is, is a floral uh, note. So once it dries down, it does have this kind of sweet floral, woody uh, scent in the dry down. But in the opening, you're going to pick up that citrus. That sweetness from the pineapple, uh, the sage, the juniper. Uh, I was just really impressed with the transition this fragrance made. And I, they gave me a little, I think this is a two meal, the Ralph 67 from Dillard's. So guys, if you can, if you haven't smelled this, Especially in the dry down. The dry down, I think this fragrance is amazing because this is something that I would never guess. Polo. To me, to put when I when it dried down, it kind of put me in the mind of Valentino, or uh, uh, Invictus fragrance. 
with the sweet woody type of scent. I sprayed my hand probably about an hour and a half ago. And it's pretty much a kind of skin scent. Still able to detect the fragrance. It's not non-detectable. But I'm not sure how the performance of this fragrance would be. Uh, and this isn't a, a video about the performance, more about the scent profile of this fragrance. Uh, and it's a pleasant one, I think. I think when this fragrance reached the online discounters, I end up, uh, I end up copying this one. Depending on the performance of this one. But like I say guys, if you haven't had, if you haven't got your nose on a Ralph Lauren Polo 67, you might want to try this one out. Because like I say, this is, I think they, they went in a good direction with this one. With the latest uh, release from the house. Uh, but I will let y'all know what I think of the performance once I really get a chance to get a wearing in on this one. But I really wanted to put out a video uh, sharing my thoughts about this fragrance. So get in the comment guys uh, if you and smelt this and what y'all think of it. You know, I've seen some people say that it's just a generic type of fragrance. And it, like a lot of fragrances, puts you in the mind of other fragrances. But for this house, uh, the Polo fragrances that I have. And you know what? It, it, it did kind of put me in the mind of uh, a Raph Club. I have Raph Club EDP. It didn't put me in the mind of that one. I think it kind of put me more in the mind of the perfume because the perfume smells the best out of that lineup to me the elixir I don't really care for that one and the one that I have uh, the EDP I mean it's it's an okay fragrance it's not something that I reach for often I think it's the sage and the lavender for that one you know maybe if they would have added something else in the EDP to kind of uh kind of balance out the notes, the the lavender, sage, and vetiver. It should have added something else in there to kind of, you know, balance it out a little more. But it's, 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 it's a decent fragrance. But it kind of reminded me of that too, the Polo 67. So, hey, that's all I want to do guys. Make a little short uh, video, like I say sharing my opinions about this fragrance and i will do an update once i get somewhere so we appreciate y'all checking out the content guys please remember to hit the like button you know get in the comments and let me know what y'all think of this fragrance if you have smelt it or if you do plan on you know get your nose to it uh and i think you know it might be worth a buy uh, i really won't go to any uh retail stops and pick it up i most definitely wait till it get on you know the online discounters so anyway guys we'll catch you on the next video peace